Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to my channel and let's do freshest PSVR news in the village. I hope all of you enjoying Saints and Sinners. It's out in all the Europe now. I think Russia waiting and few other countries, but don't worry, it will be with you soon. But anyway, let's do the news and we're gonna start from the Undead Citadel. What's happening with this game? The developers later posted the gameplay. We've been looking at it in my PSVR chat show. Some people been saying uh, there's not that much weight like looks like it to the game. But they said, recent people, this is from our alpha version. We added the weight to the weapons, the physics got tweaked. But also they saying that the original plan of the release, which was Q2 2020, sadly won't happen they won't be able to do it so they have to delay it a bit now looking from the gameplay footage what they showed us last time which plays for you right now the game definitely got promise it looks like kind of maybe hell split arena but with proper story mode and proper big levels what you're walking through so i wonder what is gonna comes out of it but so far i am very impressed with this game sadly they didn't give us new release window we're just gonna have to wait for that i'm assuming this is one of those studios what's gonna work of the on the game until they feel like it's good enough and then maybe we're gonna get the announcement but anyway on to the other story which is gone as we know the game releasing on 19th of may after months and months of waiting finally it's happening the developers don't ask me anything session on their discord channel and pretty much they confirmed everything what we already know so the game gonna have everything what is on the pc apart from the local multiplayer and they said they're not planning to add it in the future and after the release uh, they're not really planning to uh, add any updates because this is proper port from PC and on PC they've got full version 1.0 it's been in early access for quite a while so they've done everything and now they're just bringing it to PlayStation VR there will be few downgrades in lightning and stuff but they're saying in, it looks and plays pretty much same as PC version people was asking the question why why the game was so delayed and basically what they saying they didn't expect it to be as a big task as, as it was to release it on PlayStation VR so they kind of underestimate the work they have to do they've had studio working on it another external studio porting the game to PSVR but I think uh, it just proves that releasing things on PlayStation VR it's always difficult for the developers especially smaller studios but at least they managed to do it and not long now till 19th two weeks not even that and we finally be able to play Gorn okay on to the next story which is Space Team VR a game in which you are on a spaceship with some other people playing online and you have to do the tasks uh, but sadly the instructions what you are given they all wrong things are misplaced something's not working right it's all chaotic gameplay people cooperating together trying to work something out it's all crazy this is a game that was out on mobiles and people enjoyed it uh, back in i don't know 2014 or something like that and the developer decided to bring it to pc and playstation vr now what they saying right now the game releasing on pc on 21st of may but not long after that it will be coming to playstation vr so it looks like it's not that far away as always psvr owners have to wait a bit longer we got used to it now it comes to this coding and releasing the game on psvr like i said when talking about gone it's always harder for the developers but anyway next story honor and duty d-day i spoke about this nav controller update in other video so they was planning to launch everything on 17th that comes with the crossplay with pc players so the lobbies should be feeling a bit more but what they say now they managed to bring the update faster and it will be coming to you on 10th of may instead of 17th so that's very nice nav controller uh, this is many people are very very happy about it it was same story with the golem when the developers added nav controller support people just like this little controller even though it doesn't track properly it's still nice because you know it's got the foam stick very very requested feature what move controllers sadly do not have okay anyway if you like what you're seeing then please press a like because it does helps the channel a lot and if you're new to the channel and are not subscribed then subscribe it's always better when it's more of us and that's it bye